Episode 41, an interview with Eric Wang of A-Chain. Interested in Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a very vague concept to a lot of people. Need to know more about cryptocurrency? We're going to talk about the basics. You know, this is something that people just have no idea about what crypto is. How about buying, selling, and mining? Tony, I think that's one of the things that's going to make us a little different from some other shows. We're getting our hands dirty. Then listen to Gary Leland and Tony Sakala, better known as the Crypto Cousins, on the Crypto Cousins Podcast. This week's price. This week's price in Bitcoin is $9,394. That's up $1,334.66, or 16.5% over the last seven days. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome to the Crypto Cousins. Gary Leland here. And this is Tony Sakala. Hey, Tony. uh, I'm liking saying Bitcoin up $1,334. That's a big number for seven days. That is a big number. I was just telling you earlier, I think uh, my portfolio has doubled. Um, well, not quite doubled over the last uh, 15, 20 days, over the last 20 days. So it's pretty exciting watching all this green that's been happening lately. I bet the Lambos are selling again. The Lambos. People are buying <laughs> Lambos. Well, you know, they said that, uh, who is it, Tom Lee uh, said that when uh, April the 15th, came and went mm-hmm. and people got through paying their taxes we talked about this maybe two episodes ago mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. when people finished paying their taxes that uh, this stuff would start going to the moon again and it looks like old tom lee with factum financial may be correct yes i think that made a big difference people are i think people have really also come out of that fear and uncertainty uncertainty and doubt they really have this idea that now crypto is volatile. It does go through these cycles. And long-term hodlers, people recognize that this is nothing to get concerned about. I think as time goes on, the average person is becoming more like a long-term hodler. Even if they're not hodling, they see the pattern gets repeated over and over. And each time they miss out. Oh, they missed out when it went from... 1500 to 200 they missed out when it went back down to 500 in 2016 it was only november of 2016 i think it, right around then it was still 500 dollars. if you can imagine it's not that long ago it's not that long ago you know hopefully this continues on the uptrend for a while anything can happen and we're all excited so hopefully we keep our excitement and go and it keeps going up but uh you know maybe on what you were saying maybe these people now are, let me make sure I phrase this correctly. What I'm trying to say is the hodlers were used to it going down and coming back up and going down and coming back up every year. But now maybe that amount of hodlers are the amount of people that will be used to seeing it go down and back up just grew by a ton. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And if you think about Bitcoin as a technology and looking at the adoption curve, you know, so we're moving up the adoption curve, you know, the, the crazy people – we're already in, you know, the early adopters are starting to get in, you know, so we're moving from far, far wild, wild west to more of a mainstream. Uh, recently, uh, there was uh, someone on CNBC who actually talked reasonably about Bitcoin, which was a rare occurrence. And the um, McAfee curve, which uh, I, I, that's what it's called, isn't it? The McAfee curve? I, I think that's one way of calling it. I think let's keep it to that name. Yeah. He, uh, <laughs> you know, McAfee predicts it'll be a million dollars in 2020 per Bitcoin. So they charted out a progression path or curve reaching – or starting with a million dollars working backwards, I think. Working backwards. It, mm-hmm. Where it needs to be. And for the last couple of weeks, people have been giving McAfee a hard time because it was below <laughs> where it needed to be for the first time. But well, Tony, it's like four or five percent above where it needs to be now. Yeah, that's really a good sign. Yeah, so it's back on chart for a million dollars in twenty twenty. I longer it stays above that curve, the better I'm feeling. Yeah, I see that. I see that curve now. Yes, it's growing. It's growing. Yeah, Over. so that's really good. Hey, also want to make sure everybody knows about uh, we're going to have Richard Jacobs on the show in a few episodes. He's with the Future Tech Expo. 
Um, they're trying to get 5,000 people is what they're expecting at that event here in Dallas at the uh, Dallas Convention Center. We went to the one – when was that? In February? March? When was that? It was – it. Um, it feels like it was March, but I think it was February. That was a great event. Yes. That was a great event. Uh, that's where we met John McAfee in person. Yeah, we met uh, – I met Tim Draper there, and he's coming on the show because of that. Um, us getting his information there. But everybody, make sure and check out Richard's information on the Future Tech Expo at CryptoCousins.com slash super. And if you use that uh, code, that uh, or if you use that link, that'll give you 10% off if you buy a ticket to the event. And like I said, with 5,000 people there, that'll be a great event. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Also want to make sure everybody knows – this is a crypto center stage show. That means we basically have been compensated. Not basically. We have been compensated. <laughs> uh, no, we try to be real upfront on that. But uh, A-Chain has compensated us to bring them on and talk about their coin. And uh, on today's show, we're going to have an interview with Eric Wang of A-Chain. Um, and as, uh, just as uh, to let you know, Tony and I are not financial advisors. We're just bringing you an interview with them. Do your own due diligence and decide if A-Chain is the coin for you. But we enjoyed uh, talking with Eric. You want to go? Uh, you want to tell them a little bit about A-Chain? You know, A-Chain is interesting because it's a public blockchain that de- enables developers to develop tokens and issue smart contracts. And the way they do it is by uh, enabling people to fork off of the A-Chain platform. So they've re-envisioned forking and the idea that forking is a bad thing or it's a controversial thing doesn't exist in the A-Chain universe. They believe that forking is a way to expand the transaction of the network and they're able to create networks that work with thousands of transactions per second. And it's a fascinating technology. And that's what really attracted us to them, that this was not just another Me Too coin, but actually these guys have been developing the technology for many years now. And they're just coming on to the stage, so to speak, because uh, they feel now their technology has matured enough that they feel uh, that it's uh, worth uh, doing more publicity about it. They really have done a great job of doing some background development and building up the developer ecosystem. Well, and you can see this at achain.com. And Tony, I'm not like, like I said, we're not financial advisors and we're not telling people to do anything. But I can tell you this, Tony, that since we did this interview, Achain's up like 25%, maybe 35 It's up a ton mm-hmm. since we did this interview. So something's happening over there. So it's, something is happening. It's really exciting. Something that's happening <laughs> is happening on this show. A chain gave us five thousand ACTs. That's uh, their coin to give away to you guys. So that's pretty cool. This is the first. Well, no, this isn't the first one. We had another one. We've did the Synapse AI. Yeah. So, so this is the second time we've given away coins. So at first 50, 50 listeners are going to get a hundred ACTs each. So that's a pretty good deal, too. And we'll explain how to get your free ACT after the interview. So this is kind of like a TV show. <laughs> after the commercial, we're going to tell you, right. you know, uh, the answer to the question. But this was a good interview. I enjoyed talking to Eric. Now, this was he was in China, and so we were having hard time connections. So if the connection is not perfect, I'm telling you ahead of time, that's why we had a really hard time with the connection for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's the first time I've Skyped anyone in China. I don't know. Well, it's far away. So you got to go around the world. I mean, it's around the world. If you believe the world is round, it's on the other side. And uh, we had all kinds of issues. Like, yeah, traffic getting yeah, to work did. that day. <laughs> uh, and we were trying to go to yeah. bed that night. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was kind of a mess there. It took us quite a while to get this conversation going. But we finally got a call on. We had a great interview. And I guess uh, uh, you want to tell me a little bit about Eric. We can go straight to the interview. Uh, I think that uh, Eric is the CPO, the Chief Product Officer of A Chain. So uh, he is behind the development and the implementation. Uh, he's got a, a degree, in, a bachelor's and a master's in electronic engineering from Tsinghua University, and he's an expert in large-scale information system implementation. So this is a product that's just really right up Eric's. Uh, line of research and uh, development he 
is doing a great job. Well, I'm glad you pronounced the name of that university because that's why I tossed that off. I knew I wasn't going to get that correct. <laughs> but from what I understand, that particular university is like the MIT of China. That's what it was described to me as, yeah, that's as well. What it was described yes. to me also. So he was a smart dude. We enjoyed talking with him. Let's go to the interview. Eric, thank you for joining us on the show today. We're very excited to have you on the show. We're very excited about A-Chain. Um, and, and we just want to first, before we get started, saying welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Gary and Tony. You know what? I really want to know, can you tell us real quick, what is the mission and the goal of A-Chain? The mission and the goal of A-Chain. And, of course, we, uh, we, have, uh, we have the goal. Uh, to be built a boundless world uh, in the blockchain uh, by the blockchain technology. Okay. Now you have a loyalty program with A Chain, and can you tell us why did you create that? Okay. Uh, the loyalty program uh, was developed to reward more community members uh, who hold the ACT uh, for any market conditions. And we built the loyalty program to incentive long term uh, by airdropping monthly rewards or dividends to every uh, patient. Uh, participants will have ACT distributed to them based on a few factors the ACT wallet uh, balance, the aggregate, the aggregate uh, total of ACT contributed to the program by all participants, and the price of ACT on the final snapshot of each phrase. And uh, each phrase consists of two, uh, consists about five snapshots and which spend roughly over a month's period. Uh, we've allocated a total of 35 million ACT to this program. Participants and each month the program can distribute as fewer as 300,000 ACT or as many as 900,000 ACT. And additionally, we will use this program to distribute uh, airdrop tokens from different aging ecosystem projects when they are available. Okay, that's it. Very nice. Tony, do you have any questions? I don't want to be hogging them all up here. I want to... Thank you, for Gary, for sharing. So could you describe to us what is the ACT token used for and why is it necessary? Yeah, uh, the token can be used for or service on Chain network. This includes uh, the token release, uh, smart contract uh, construction, and the digital assets transfer. And of course, as I mentioned, the ACT brings you the airdrop. All of these actions consume ACT as gas except the loyalty program I mentioned. In one word, uh, token represents center rights that's the first time to put economy distribution into technology. Technical protocol. I see. So, could you describe what is so unique about your RDPoS consensus algorithm? Yeah, the so RDPoS uh, is only used for the transaction results, uh, validation, plus smart contract. Sometimes a contract transaction contains more information than the ACT transaction itself, so it's more complicated. The RDPOS agreement can address that information to cut down the copy of validation or four notes, which makes verification easier and faster. I see. I see. That that makes sense. So how does a, this new business or developer build on the A-chain? What are the options? Uh, at present, uh, developers can build their own smart contracts for the apps through the Agent IDE tool uh, in the testing environment. Uh, next quarter, we plan to offer more tools for developers that are tool release tool, a token release tool, and a blockchain rapid development uh, deployment tool. There will be many more options. I see. So uh, these D apps, will they live in side chains or will they be on the main chain? Uh, actually, uh, at present, uh, WordApps are still released on the A-chain. 
and the future DApps will be built on the forking network as the enterprises prefer using blockchain builds that to build by themselves. When the value exchange protocol, uh, I mean the VEP, and the forking have been further developed, actually, it's hard to separate the main chain and from the side chain as each of them has the same functions but different features. I see. I see. So it sounds like developers have a lot of power in your system. They have a lot of, of, of tools available. Can you explain the development tools A-Chain has to help developers customize and test their concepts? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, we classify our development tool as an IDE, uh, as war developers can consult uh, can customers uh, can customize and uh, test their applications in the Jilua programming language. As a tool, will be available for everyone when the testing environment is ready. And now, our tool that will let uh, the developers fully test after release. Hey, I got I got a question. What you have a billion ACT token supply? Why did you go with a billion? in the ATC token supply? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, about three years ago, we estimate a budget for operating such a blockchain program and decided to raise about $10 million in funding. Uh, one billion uh, supply ensured a low introductory price for, for the token, but the figure is not fixed. The article's agreement had been applied successfully Suspect, uh, successfully on the A chain, which is promoted from the T post. All agents voted by ACT holders uh, will be reported as record behavior. This part doesn't come from the one billion. There are, five, there are about uh, maybe 15, uh, 15 million ACT growing every year. Hmm. Okay. So, Eric. What are some developments and plans that you have for the next year? Uh, the next year, I foresee uh, an increased demand for largest scale applications that are free and enable to change across shared e economics. We are developing a platform that directly responds to this need. Uh, maybe the forking and their interconnection uh, will be implemented. I see. And it, we, we have heard that you have this uh, rebranding that's coming up. Uh, what is your timetable for the rebranding? Maybe next uh, three months. Uh, now we are contacting their companies from the U.S. and they, we, it will help us for, uh, to, to start this program, the rebranding. Yeah. And what are some of the other projects already on A-Chain? Uh, now, uh, we have there are more than 100 projects in a chain and focus on the entertainment, uh, credit, uh, and that management based change. And more, and the number is growing faster. Uh, a chain supports any sub project that contributes and has value to the world. Well, my question was why a chain over other platforms? Uh, a chain offers uh, flexibility, uh, scalability, network formats, and the support for project development. This offering sets us apart from other platforms. The aging offers ability to expand itself infinitely. That is, working and interconnection often creates various containers to deal with thousands of transactions and business applications. So theoretically, no internet for aging network. That is different from the East one. Yeah, I was very interested in the regular, how you've implemented forking. Most people, most coins have a process of forking that is uh, really against the original coin. It sounds like your forking is uh, really works with the main chain. And uh, can you describe in more detail, like what are the 
how you've implemented forking? Uh, forking, yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, the forking brings skills as community consensus is state. We have rigorously thought about it. One way to do is to throw a uh, soft fork. Another is through copy a new chain. In either case, we have to ensure that the original and the new one are logically separated. We have a sophisticated sandbox testing tool and the consumer chain to provide the project with convenient space to employ their experiment. I see. So you're making it really easy for developers and new projects to develop on a sub-chain. Yeah, yeah. Um, not, that, that's not uh, precisely. Uh, uh, there are no sub-chain as a bench, and uh, we are missing more chain. I'm sorry, Eric, your, your microphone uh, faded in the last sentence. Could you repeat that again? Uh, I think that's not a process, uh, precisely. Pre -process. Oh. Uh, the forking the, uh, the network, uh, we don't think it's a side chain. And uh, the A chain not is uh, mentioned. I think we, we think that all of the chains are equal. I see. So really, it is not a sub-chain, but rather the, the chains are equal once they're created. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are, they are equal, yeah. I see. I different see. features, different functions. Now, one of the problems in Bitcoin and other networks is the slow transaction times. And uh, can you tell us a little more about how you achieve 1 million transactions per second? 1 million? Uh, that's not correct. Okay, <laughs> I thought I read that. <laughs> such a value, I mean, mm -hmm. the one million. The best agent can do is to chose to consistent uh, one hundred taxi per second, uh, and uh, what we do is to use our forking method uh, to address further scalability issues. Each chain can process its own TPS are through, and we will develop cross chains in temporarily to have both the chains communicate and transact with each other. This will happen well in avoiding overloading and blocking one single chain or one single network. I see. I see. So it really is built for the ability for these chains to work together and that not overload the main chain. Is that, is that if I understand it correctly? Yeah. Wonderful, Eric. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? Uh, I think those are all the questions we had. I want to uh, tell more about the mission and the goal of the main chain. And, uh, the mission is to build a this world. I have mentioned that. From our point of view, uh, the mean, this means two things. First is, it refers to the way the chain, the A chain blockchain uh, connects states, uh, enable value exchange, and the guarantees of authorities across organizations. And the second, uh, it also refers to the way the A chain blockchain simplifies transactions, removing intermediary between users and the providers. I see. Gary, do you have any other questions? Uh, I, I have no questions. Uh, I really enjoyed this information. I also want to make sure, I want to make sure and thanks Eric uh, for the uh, tokens, the ACT tokens he's given us to give away to uh, the cousins, which we're going to explain about in a little bit. But uh, that was very kind of you to uh, offer our listeners um, the tokens, and we do appreciate that. And uh, we're going to explain that uh, when we get through how they can receive from us the tokens that you've uh, been kind enough to give them. That was very kind of you, Eric. That's okay. <laughs> that was very nice of you. Uh, I think you're you're the first company we've had on. No, is he the first or the second, Tony? I think the second. Second one. Out of all the people we had on, you're only the second person 
to give coins to our listeners, and we appreciate that, and we know our listeners will too. The second person, yeah, yes. So, so we've we awesome. quite a few people, and you're the second, only the second one. So not a lot of people think about our listeners. So we appreciate that. And, and we had a hard time getting this all lined up. This was a hard conversation to connect. So we also really appreciate your patience in with us on getting this hooked up. And I've been watching A Chain. I'm real excited about A Chain. It looks like it's going to do great, some great stuff to me. So I'm really excited about it. And I want to I want to make sure you know how much we appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you, Gary and Tony. Thanks, thanks for your time, and、uh, really appreciate.、It. Welcome back, Tony. I enjoyed talking to Eric. I wish we'd had a better connection, but it's still a good conversation. Yeah, we had a rough connection, so we have you have to put a little extra attention in into listening. But it's definitely worth it. We've learned a lot about A Chain, and I think that、uh, there's a place for some of these other new innovative、uh, software technologies that are doing some interesting things in the space. I agree completely, and I'm glad we had Eric on the show and. If you're still listening, you're probably listening because you want to know how you can get your free ACT. So I 100, guess one hundred. One hundred. So I guess we ought to tell people that.、Um, you know, this could be the best episode of a podcast you ever listened to.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, mean, most valuable. Most yeah, valuable. yeah. As this goes up, I mean, if it hit ten thousand, then that would mean we gave you a hundred bucks, right?、Mm-hmm. Would that be right, or would that be no? That'd be like a thousand bucks we gave him. Fit ten dollars. So you should be hoping <laughs> it's ten thousand if you're one of the first fifty. So here's what you need to do to get your free、uh, 100 ACTs. First of all, you need to go to both of our YouTube channels. We have two YouTube channels for the Crypto Cousins. We have YouTube.com/slash/CryptoCousins and YouTube.com/slash/FourMinuteCrypto. But you need to go to both of those. And I'm not going to say it again because you have a rewind button. On your player, whatever it is. All right, all right, Gary's giving it to you. <laughs> so you can hit、Use、that button、rewind. twice and, and get、yes. back to it. Fifteen seconds each time, I think. So just go back as often as you need to, but go to those two crypt, those two YouTube pages, and on both of them, subscribe. You have to subscribe to both of those. Then you have to also give us a thumbs up on both pages on a sh- episode, a show, wherever. We need a thumbs up and a comment. So it's not really hard. You subscribe to the two pages, and while you're on each page or each channel, just find a show, give it a thumbs up, give it a comment, and do that on both channels. And then you email us at thecryptocousins at gmail with a wallet address, or we can't send you any money. And A Chain has a wallet, and Kcash dot com has a wallet. So you can find a wallet at A Chain dot com or Kcash dot com, and send us your YouTube name, saying that you.、Uh, Did the tasks, and then our little elves working in the North Pole will check on your submission, and it may take a few days, and we won't. You may not get. We won't get a. Rep- you won't get a reply to emails. You'll only see the A chain in your wallet within a week or so. If you were one of, we're not going to email everybody back. But they don't care about the, the, that email, Gary. They just want to see the money. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> if they see money in their in their wallet. In about a week, like you were saying, Tony, then they know they were one of the first fifty. If they don't see any money, they. Were, but I tell you what, if you don't see any money in your wallet, we still appreciate you subscribing to our shows because it does help us out. And you'll really enjoy future shows where this will happen again. I'm sure. Yeah, matter of fact, Tony, while they're at our YouTube channels subscribing, they could go leave us a bunch of thumbs up. They don't have to do just one show. You can thumbs up as much as you like if、and、you like us. If you don't like us, yeah. If you don't like you us, why are you even listening? Listen to somebody else. <laughs> But if you like us, give us a bunch of thumbs up while you're there because it all helps us with our YouTube juice. So、uh, a lot of people ask how they can help us anyway. So that's a that's an easy way to help. Click, click, click. Whenever I watch something on YouTube, if, if I like it for for the first few seconds, I give it an immediate thumbs up. I mean. I don't really see a reason. You could always undo the thumbs up if later they say something stupid. But generally, I'm watching everything at two times the speed, and I'm watching. I, I'm a YouTube Red guy now, Gary. I don't know if I told you about YouTube Red. I mean, that's no commercials, you know. And、uh, so I'm zipping through stuff. 
Well, gosh, at twice the speed, if you're watching Four Minute Crypto, that's like less than two minutes. It's Two Minute Crypto, Gary. <laughs> I, I must confess, I do watch you at twice the speed. Well, I, I've, I've never, <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that on face on YouTube. <laughs> well, that, that's the scoop. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Make sure and go subscribe to, I'm going to give it to you again. I am going to be a nice guy, to youtube.com slash crypto cousins and youtube.com slash four minute crypto. Comment, thumbs up. And we'll send you some money and email us. Anything you want to add before we get out of here, Tony? No, I just was really appreciative that the a Chain folks found us and uh, asked us to uh, work with them. And uh, I think it's an interesting technology. Yeah, yeah, I do too. And I appreciate everybody for listening. And until uh, next time, have a good one. I love you guys. Take care. Thanks for listening to the Crypto Cousins Podcast. Please share this podcast with anyone you know that is interested in cryptocurrency. Your friends can subscribe on iTunes at CryptoCousins.com slash iTunes and on Android at CryptoCousins.com slash play. If you want to know more about Tony or Gary, just go to TonySakala.com or GaryLeland.com. Make sure and join us on the next episode, and thanks for listening. The Crypto Cousins podcast and information in the podcast are not intended as investment advice. Cryptocurrencies are risky. Never invest more than you can afford to lose. Always seek professional advice before making any investment. Investing in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies may present tremendous risks. Please understand that you are using any and all information available on or through the Crypto Cousins podcast at your own risk. 